Hello everyone, my name is Jeremy or Germs PC, and today I am joined here with Dawson. And today we have our week one of Rocket League NACE Star League at the Ohio State Esports Program versus Missouri Baptist University. How are you today, Dawson? Doing great, doing great. Uh, weather was a little rough, but I'm here. I'm excited. I'm ready to start this. Absolutely. I am too. And it looks like we're getting the lobby set up as we speak. So might not have much time. This is obviously the first week of NACE Star League. And it looks like today our Scarlet roster is going to start out as Burgess, Temp and Stu versus Tendo, Firewall and Blue Phoenix as we start it off. Looks like we're going to see some quick aggression right now from Temp as we get quickly into this game. Are you excited for this, Dawson? Oh, yeah, I'm super excited. Yeah, these players being this first week, uh, there's no expectations, but they have everything to prove, right? It's all about setting that precedent for the rest of the, the series. Absolutely, and it looks like Ohio State's going to try to start it off strong with Temp trying to take the ball over to midfield. Stu getting demoed, and it looks like they're going to have to try to reset back into midfield. Temp going up for the ball, low on boost. He's going to be able to get it, putting a lot of pressure right now on Missouri Baptist, but they're able to swat it away. Burgess is going to have to try to pick up the pace, defend his goal as it's currently unprotected. Looks like the defense is strong, though, and Blue Phoenix almost getting it, loses the 50-50, and the ball is back on the midfield. Burgess, though, with some great shots, but Tendo able to defend, and uh, that's a save for the books on Missouri Baptist. Yeah, OSU here doing a really great job of keeping that boost controlled uh, when they have it on their half. These players are doing a really great job of rotating in and out on those 100s. It's giving Missouri Baptist a little bit of a rough time to actually get some shots on net, but it seems like they're going to get one right here, and Tendo puts it in in the top. Absolutely incredible shot yes. from, from Tendo here. Yeah, it was a really nice shot and, uh, you know, some great team fight happening right now. And Missouri Baptist able to take a quick lead 1-0. And obviously anything's possible with three minutes 50 left in the car ball game. Going to go and see who's able to get the ball. Looks like it's going to be Tendo with Firewall trying to take it up. But look at that. Ohio State putting the pressure on the Missouri Baptist fast here. Able to get as far as they can. But it looks like they're just going to try to put it over on midfield and uh, we might see a clear here from Firewall. Yeah, OSU having a little bit of a tough time getting that ball across the midfield. That might just be in there. Seems like OSU That's players it. weren't able to rotate back properly. They were having a little rough time in that, that back left corner there. And so Tendo was able to just put a, a shot on net with uh, no defenders there to get that out. Yeah, it seemed like the defense rotation just really didn't come in from Ohio State. Missouri Baptist was just able to you know, score on an open net there. Uh, really nice stuff coming out from Missouri is Firewall able to clear the 50-50. Temp trying to take the ball onto Missouri's side is able to get some uh, positioning, but Blue Phoenix able to clear it onto midfield. Stu's there to defend. Tendo, though, wants to take the fight to Ohio State. Wow. Demo going on. Blue Phoenix has an open goal, but able to defend is Tendo. And now Burgess is going to try to take this over to midfield and uh, put it back on the side of Missouri Baptist. Was Burgess with a nice shot, but Tendo able to save it. Yeah, Missouri's doing a great job of getting this ball up on that that backboard where OSU's not able to get there fast enough. OSU's having a really rough time now. Uh, kind of making making the rotation useful. Burgess is having a little bit of a rough time. He was on zero for a while. Uh, Missouri's getting a lot of free shots here, and OSU's throwing away their possession a lot. So I, I'd like to see that turn around here. Yeah, and I think the rotations are the other problem right now on Ohio State's side. So uh, seeing some more faster and tighter rotations as well, so they just don't have that open net to be able to score on. But uh, just a lot of mid-fighting right now. Stu is trying to get nice. the ball, set him up for Burgess, but a nice save right now coming out. And it looks like Tendo has just been you know, an unstoppable force. He's able to far clear it back over for his team to try to do this. And Tendo Another with demo a demo here. onto Burgess. Is going to result in a 2v3 right now. Ohio State able to clear it back into midfield. Yeah, and these demos coming out from Tendo here, they're not just demos for the sake of demoing. They're really smart, getting that defense open for his teammates to come in. It seems like they're communicating really well. Uh, OSU's done an all right job of being able to stop it for the most part, but I'd really like to see they them uh, keep their boost control uh, a lot tighter here. Ooh, yeah, and it looks like, you know, Ohio State is trying to put on some offensive strikes and, you know, really trying to put the pressure on them. But with these long clears from Missouri Baptist, uh, it's just giving them so much problems right now. Yeah, it's all about that third man. Tendo, oh, wow, what a shot from Tendo. Still able to save, but 
you know, these shots right now from Missouri Baptist are deadly, and uh, Ohio State does not have much time to try to take this away. A minute Oof. 20 left, Stu trying to get it. Burgess defend, and Blue Phoenix clearing it back onto the midfield. And with a minute 10 left, Missouri can really just use this floating time right now with the ball to, you know, make it almost impossible for Ohio State to, to come back on this. So Ohio State obviously is trying their heart out to try to get these last two goals to at least take it back into a tie, but with 54 seconds left and um, these great shots, but Stu actually able to get it as Blue Phoenix unfortunately was up uh, trying to get that 50-50, lost it, and um, just a nice setup from Burgess on that one shot. Yeah, incredible ball control there from Burgess. When those players are in the air, air rolling, it may seem like they're just doing it for style points, but it's actually really nice for controlling your car, so Burgess is showing this right now again with these air drags. It it makes controlling your car like in any direction really easy. You can fake out your opponents, so it was really tough for them to get a good 50 there, uh, them being Missouri Baptist. So uh, really great control there from Burgess. Yeah, and with these floaters, we're going to see some more time being shaved off the clock. And obviously, Blue Phoenix is here with the rest of the team to try to defend. 26 seconds. Ohio State has Bridges to score to stay to into this game. Ooh, that was close right there. Temp almost able to get it. Uh, there's some great shots at the very end of this game here. 15 seconds remaining. Temp nice. on the side, able to get it. Tying up the game. Ohio State take it. Yeah, Ohio State throwing it up on that backboard so many times. Uh, Missouri... Definitely on a boost there. Firewall seemed to be the only one that really had any. I think he was picking up some pennies, but he just wasn't able to get that out. Really great job here tying it up. Yeah, Ohio State's definitely keeping these uh, this third man uh, plays really tight. They're able to Ten seconds wrap this left. up. It's possible. Uh, Tendo's trying to go for it, but it looks like we're probably going to be seeing Same this go to overtime. All right, sudden uh -oh. death. First person to get it will win. And they're going to try to keep the ball in as much as they can, yeah. but it's looking almost assuredly like it's going to overtime. Oh, actually, Everyone knows about rule up. one, but not a lot of people know about <laughs> rule two, and it's you always keep the ball up at zero seconds. Absolutely. All right. First person, to sc first team to score, I should say, wins. Yep. And it looks like Temp and Burgess are trying to trying be to the something. ones to do that. Stu, Floater, trying to take it back over, but Tendo and Firewall are going to be able to keep it on Ohio State's side. Blue Phoenix uh -oh. as well, able to win the 50-50, but Burgess able to put it down to midfield. Firewall there to defend. Stu, though, wants to put the pressure on with Temp, but it looks like they're going to give this up a little bit and go back to midfield to try to defend. Yeah, Missouri having a little bit of defensive confusion there. Uh, it's all about that third person. You need to utilize every single player in a threes game to be able to get that ball around their defense, but Missouri is really bunched up, and I think Ohio State could have taken maybe better uh, better advantage of that. But it seems like they're going to try to be getting the ball out of their own half here. Burgess definitely having an attempt to control that. I'm actually a fan of, of watching a little bit more of a passive play from Ohio State. I, mm. I was worried about the rotations, and the fact they showed some control there really, um, you know, uh, made me think that they're trying to play a bit more passive which which i'm a fan of uh Stu and temp are trying to take it over to missouri's side able to do so um looks like we're gonna see a little more fighting for the ball but tempo is gonna be able to try to float this down burgess not able to do it and uh actually i was that Stu winning the 50 50 there keeping it on the side of missouri but blue able to send it back down to ohio state's side Oof. and we're gonna be able to see the first fight here looks like firewall is gonna try to go for a kill but tempo with the demo uh tendo has just been absolutely disgusting with those 10 uh demos but uh we're gonna just see a bit more mid fighting right now as burgess able to take it back to midfield and Tendo winning that 50 50. Who's going to try to get it? Oh, it's a close shot, but in the slap backboard. That was incredible guard control from Stu there. Getting bumped by Blue, Blue Phoenix and still saving it. Big chance here for Ohio State, just not able to squeak that in. Still on the wall with no boost, trying to get it mid for his teammates here. Yeah, Tendo with that floater back to the side of Ohio State. Blue Phoenix is there to try to aggress, oh. but looks like, ooh, Burgess actually <laughs> a little bit of an accident. Side of Ohio yeah. State. <laughs> It happens. We've all been it there. Does. Um, as much that as open this net? looks, I mean, oh wait, that's huge. Temp able to get the kill onto the goalie, and we're just able to get the winning score. That is that's huge. so Ohio smart. State are able to take the first game. That's so smart from Temp. There, he sees both uh, 
of the other Missouri Baptist players there going to both sides. Uh, one player pushed up mid, waiting for a clear, and then the other went back corner. So Tim was able to read that and get that demo to secure that game for Ohio State. That was a really big win coming from uh, – they were down 2-0, able to win that in overtime. Yeah, I, I think it was definitely a slow start from Ohio State. You saw kind of the, mm. the cobwebs getting brushed off there with the, the rotations and such, but Ohio State able to just take that dominantly on the second half there. I'm talking the last you know 60 seconds of regulation time, they were just able to take it, and, and that was absolutely great to see. Some great team play from Ohio State, and uh, you know obviously we've got at least two more maps here, so... Uh, they're going to have to bring their A game against Missouri. Yeah, and I liked what you said about Ohio State's passive play, right? So in the beginning there, they're having a rough time getting their third player kind of incorporated into their plays, not necessarily getting those nice shots off. Uh, and then especially Burgess. Burgess was controlling the ball really well with those air dribbles, those ground dribbles, uh, utilizing his boost really well, uh, able to – he was playing around two players a lot of times, so that really opened up Ohio State to be a little bit more creative, uh, be a little bit more – you know, passive, but still looking out for Missouri players, playing it really smart, and I really like that play from Ohio State. Yeah, I, I think it showed some level of control that we just didn't see in the very beginning there. You know, you saw them overextending on some of those pushes, and uh, they obviously got punished hard. And, uh, you know, going into game two uh, with Ohio State up a game, Missouri is going to have to bring their all as Burgess taking it downfield. <gasps> They're going to maybe get an open goal, but so close. No, hit the backboard, and it's going to go back. But Stu wants to continue this farther. Temp winning the 50-50 on there, but going floating back onto midfield. Temp big fake uh, is oh. <laughs> yeah Burgess, huge fake and... Burgess just missing that clip there just by a little bit yeah and with this game uh Missouri's definitely gonna keep their really smart play playing consistent hopefully and I I, I love to see OSU uh, just you know having fun showing off their mechanics great shot oh, there for just wow beautiful that was just fantastic setup by Temp there. You see he's able to just tap the ball straight for Burgess to come midfield and bam, nice goal from Ohio State to start the second game there. And, you know, with the four minutes left, obviously it's anybody's game, but uh, this is a much stronger start that we've seen from Ohio State as they're able to win the 50-50 too, putting the pressure still on Missouri Baptist. Ooh. And a wow. demo from Temp able to get Tendo down. It was the battle for tees and it looks like Tendo said it's my turn and Burgess uh, trying to get this, clear this down to midfield. And it looks like he's actually going to be able to win the 50-50 on Blue Phoenix. They're going to have to scramble for the defense. Temp might be Huge able to chance. set something up for Burgess. Oh, so close. And still some opportunity, but Blue Phoenix able to clear it down into midfield. Yeah, Missouri's not, I, I, I don't think they're adapting necessarily. Ohio State changed their game up a little bit. They're hitting this this ball really hard now. Like that, that first goal they scored, uh, they got it mid super, super quick, and Missouri just didn't have any momentum for that save. I just don't think they're adapting to this really quick. Ohio State's kind of just controlling the field right now. Yeah, I, I think that this is just, uh, you know, obviously a very dominant Ohio State offense right now. And right now, Missouri doesn't really know what to do with it because they haven't had much opportunity to even try to score. Um, Ohio State has just been doing these fantastic clears and these 50-50s that have been working in their favor. But this is the first opportunity. Tendo is trying to set up his teammate for some kind of shot, but is unable to do so far while well there. And it looks like Temp's going to be able to clear this on to midfield. Uh, Firewall trying to do something about it. And it looks like there's going to be They're an empty goal here if they want here. to try to do something. Mm, get uh, they had a chance, but looks like... Uh, it's just going to hit the backboard and uh, go into Ohio State. Uh -oh. And it's an empty goal. They might actually have it. Oh. If they, it's close. They almost self-scored. Oh, no. Burgess, I think, reading the That's... corner there. Not the wall. Wow. Oh. Blue Phoenix is not <sighs> not being ready for Stu there, I think, on that side. Yeah. Yeah, Ohio State just kind of weaving in and out. Uh, I think Missouri Baptist got a little confused there. Who is taking the ball? Might have been a communication issue there, perhaps. But yeah, Ohio State taking it up 2-0 now. I think Missouri Baptist needs to change something about their, their play, their defensive play at least, take over ball possession a little bit more on this ball here. Yeah, but oh, wow, double demo coming up from Burgess and Temp right now, leaving them a little flustered to say the least. Tendo trying to defend. They're winning the 50-50, able to clear it down Oof. to Ohio State. Sign it's an empty goal, and Blue Phoenix is able to tap it in. And that's a, a great way to answer 
uh, Ohio State's aggression is just absolutely punish them. Yeah, um, I think from Stu, that air shot. Stu maybe double tapping his, his jump button there and flipping early. Just an empty jump there. A uh, little bit of a defensive thing. Uh, the rotation was fine on that. It's just up to, you know, that third player to make sure they have that solid. So these Missouri players being a little bit faster on the turn now. I think they're going to be able to take a little bit more control here. So I think Ohio State needs to answer that. Yeah, two minutes left, and we're just able to get a demo. Uh, it's going to be a, a little hard for Missouri to come back with this as uh -oh. Ohio State can kind of just clear it. And, oh, Temp and Tendo again with that duel. Yeah. Uh, Tendo able to come out on top, and Oof. I think Blue Phoenix is going to be able to far clear this. And Stu is left completely out of position. This is a prime opportunity for Missouri, but that far clear is going to allow for the rotations to occur. And Temp wants to bring the aggression over. Ohio State is on the offensive, and they smell blood. But with that far clear back into Ohio State side. Uh, Burgess is going to have to try to pick up the pieces and Stu Very fast coming there. out of nowhere. Blue Phoenix just has no Game idea. Trying to set up Temp for a shot, but Tendo able to defend. And it's going to be cleared back into midfield, but nice missing the 50-50, that was huge. Yeah, Ohio State's doing a really good job here of getting two every time they touch the ball, right? So in threes, it's really important, especially at the higher level, for these players to be able to control their car. After you hit that ball, you can follow up. So if you're giving it right to the opponents, at least be able to 50. And Ohio State's exemplifying that really well. Be able to keep their car like behind that ball. And if Missouri Baptist wants a challenge, they're going to have to oh, work for no. it. Oh, no. Almost an empty net there. Firewall able to rotate fast enough. And, and oh. now with 53 seconds left, the pressure is on for Missouri Baptist to answer the second goal from Ohio State. Currently, uh -oh. Ohio State is trying to take it. And, oh, Temp, if he had just gotten a little bit faster there, but I don't think he had the boost. Stu is trying to set up Temp now for a shot. It's going to go in, and Stu and Temp, some great team play right there to solidify a third point for Ohio State in this game. Yeah, great communication there between the players. Temp was ready for that. Uh, Missouri Baptist wasn't quite sure if uh, Stu was going for, or Temp if was going for that flip reset or not. Uh, so, yeah, really great play there from Ohio State. You know, I think uh, so far, by the looks of it, uh, Temp has just really been the kind of envelope pusher for this. You mm -hmm. know, he's really able to seal the deal and has been coming up clutch in these uh, end game situations right now. And, you know, now with 22 seconds left, it's it's down to Missouri to try to get two goals very fast here. And anything's possible in Carball, but it looks like Ohio State's just going to kind of make this floater shave as much time off the clock as possible by keeping that ball in the air and with eight seconds left it's looking Ooh. more and more likely to be an ohio state win and a win on game two uh -huh. and all burgess able to get a final shot just showing off there a little bit as ohio state uh look to take this in a 4-1 fashion yeah really nice placement there from burgess there almost top left corner that's great. Two seconds left. I mean, this is really just for show. Uh, I'm, I'm curious who's going to be able to take the last uh, touch of this. Oh. And there we go. Looks like uh, Ohio State is up two games to zero right now. And the ball is really on Missouri's uh, you know, court at this point, to say the least. Ohio State had the team fight. They had the strategy for defense. You know, you saw those rotations just were so clean for some of those parts that Missouri, it didn't even feel like their offense was really in the game at that point. Yeah, well, Ohio State doing a great job of playing as a unit there, especially Temp. Uh, really great mechanics, being able to get around uh, Missouri's players, getting in mid for the shot makers on OSU. Burgess doing a really great job of controlling that ball. Uh, playing his boost really smart. That's something I've noticed with Ohio State. They play their boost really smart. Um, there's a couple of times here and there they go for some plays that is a little iffy with the, the boost component, you know, maybe using a little bit more than they really need to make a play. Uh, but for the most part, right, they're getting it made really fast. They're communicating really well. They're putting these shots on now. Uh, really big step up from game one there where we were seeing uh, not a lot of possession. They were kind of slow to stuff, not really reading the Missouri players. Uh, Missouri definitely still playing consistently there. They were playing uh, really solid. It's just OSU hitting it so fast, they're able to open up Missouri's defense. And that, that's something that they definitely need to keep going into game three here to close out the series. Yeah, uh, you know, the pressure's on for sure. And I think if Missouri just finds kind of those, those minute places to punish Ohio State... Uh, it could definitely result in uh, this kind of overturn. And look at this yeah. fast play. Blue Phoenix demoing Stu. That could have been just absolutely disaster. It was a close thing. I mean, they're still Ooh. not out of the water. Is Tem trying to get in an open net. Tendo able to get the goal. 
and and talk about a punish. Uh, that's a great way to start out for Missouri Baptist. Yeah, and like you were saying, those new openings, right? Even the best players uh, kind of leave their own rotation open sometimes. And Ohio State leaving it really open there, wide open for Missouri to get that open net. Uh, so it's all, it's all up to Missouri, right, to read these. I think Ohio State's doing a good job for the most part staying tight, but they need to make sure that they're keeping it up. It's a thing that you need to constantly focus on. Yeah, this is a game where uh, you really can't slack off for like, you know, five minutes because at that point the game's already over and not much you can do. But a demo coming out from Temp, Blue Phoenix and Tendo saving that. That could have been disaster. As Tendo trying Ooh. to go for it again, able to win the 50-50 is Temp. And Stu and Burgess are there to defend against Blue Phoenix. But it looks like Firewall uh, has some great boost management right now. And it looks like they want to try to go for more. Temp, though, able to clear the ball and... It looks like they're going to try to send this back to midfield and uh, maybe mount a bit of an offense. Yeah, Tim taking kind of a lot of risky plays here. Like on that defense, he was trying to control the ball in front of his own net. Uh, I see Tim doing that a lot, you know, catching it, trying to make his own plays out of that. I think that's a little dangerous in threes, and Missouri's kind of catching on now. So I'd like to see Tim maybe getting a little bit more of those solid clears uh, instead of trying to control it on your own half, right? You need to... Do it, do it with scoring goals last game with those quick passes. Yeah, I couldn't agree more. I think uh, overall those those nice floater clears mm -hmm. uh, are really one of the great things that Ohio State was able to do. Um, and it also allowed for, um, you know, just some kind of prodding of the oh. Baptist defense. Yeah. Oh, Blue Phoenix. Oh, that could have been just devastating. He had a chance there for sure, but Stu was able 50. to take it back, able to win the 50-52, and Temp uh, pushing it down, trying to set up his teammate, but Blue Phoenix is there to defend. But, oh, Temp wins the 50-50 on that. And if the Stu was any cl closer, he could have gotten it. But with that floater down to Ohio State's side, uh, looks like we're going to see uh, just a little bit more mid-fighting right now. And Burgess uh, winning that 50-50, kind of. Whoa. And Tempo trying to set it up, and that could have been huge. But Burgess there to defend, and now it's an open uh, goal as Blues try to come back. Nice rotations from Missouri, and Ohio State's left uh, scrambling back to their side. But look at that. Yeah, yeah, and because Ohio State's doing such a great job on following up on these balls and, you know, getting two every time, right? Uh, following up on it, keeping your car behind it. Missouri's having a rough time because even if they're winning a 50, it seems like there's always an OSU player there to, you know, 50 again. So it's, it's just a really, really hard wall to break through. But Missouri finally flipping the possession here on Ohio State's half. So we'll see what they can do with this. Getting yeah, two minutes, 11 Phoenix. left. Ooh, Blue Phoenix, That's that could have been a nice uh, setup. But looks like uh, Stu's going to be there to clear it. And a nice 50-51 as well in the air. And Blue Phoenix able to clear it back to midfield. But Temp wants to bring it back over to Ohio State side. And Blue Phoenix might be left a little bit out. But looks like he wants to take the fight to Ohio State. No boost left for him, though. So he's just going to try to set up Tendo there. And a nice shot. But Burgess is there to defend. And Stu winning that 50-50 is going to clear wow. it back to the side of Missouri. And Tendo there to defend. But that could have been uh, just a fantastic shot or setup for Ohio State. Yeah, definitely a really quick shot. Uh, Temp again, you know, controlling that ball behind him. Uh, he's utilizing his back camera. Uh, I feel like he's doing a really great job of keeping track of uh, the Missouri opponents. So I, I think it's just a matter of time before something clicks in OSU. They just need to connect that third player and get a shot on. Yeah, well, Very speaking close. about clicks, currently we've got a minute left in this game missouri up a point and ohio state is in need of a point to at least stay into this they'd love to to finish out this match in its entirety um burgess is trying to set up his teammate tendo though able to defend temp Great is gonna there. try to set up a shot from Stu and a nice shot able to cushion between them and just bounce it straight in and now ohio state has tied it up yeah this this pass here from temp just shows such an absolutely masterful control of the, of the field here. And that communication, absolutely incredible. There's there's nothing really in a Rocket League player's mind that makes you want to, you know, pass it backwards. But when you're, when you're confident that your teammate's there and you trust them, uh, it makes some really powerful shots like we saw there. 
Yeah, and now 37 seconds left. It could be anybody's game at this point. This could be the last goal of the match, even as Burgess wants to take the fight. Blue Phoenix winning the 50-50, but Tempo is in the back there to try to get it. He's going to be shot by Tendo and Burgess, uh, clearing it into midfield. 20 seconds left on this clock as Blue Phoenix is mounting their attack. Um, looks like they're trying to take it over to midfield. And, you know, with these long clears, uh, it's looking more and more likely like we're going to go into overtime. But that shot was a close shot from Temp. Firewall there to change. But Snoo on. Oh, so close. He had the opportunity. And now with time or left, uh, you know, like you said, with rule two. Uh, overtime now. Another yeah, overtime. It was tough for Temp so. there to keep that up. But it, he did a great job of uh, reading that shot, honestly. Yeah, it's definitely something uh, you don't really, if you don't have momentum going into it, it's, it can seem unsavable. So great job for him to read that and uh, be, be able to kind of predict it there. So it seems like Missouri's well, going to try to change something around this overtime here. Yeah, I mean, we see some 50-50s being won, and Blue Phoenix is there to try to get the clear away. Burgess oh. as well, but oh, I almost that thought they were going everything. for a team pinch there. <laughs> Firewall, though, bringing it back into the side of Ohio State and Burgess clearing it back into midfield. The rotations are good, but Burgess is trying to set up his teammate. Wow. It goes high, hits the sidebar, but Phoenix um, losing the 50-50 to Temp, but we're going to see a bit of a reset here as Burgess clearing it into midfield. And Burgess uh, overall, just, yeah. Burgess is having ahead. a little bit of a tough time keeping his car on the ground. It's uh, OSU players kind of getting stuck in their movement, but they, they have the right idea, right? They're they're getting super close to connecting these. They just need to keep taking shots, keep keep, keep this boost control really tight. I think they can definitely pull something out, unless that's in well oh. off the side side corner there from Tendo. Great shot placement there. Yeah, and you saw the rotations were getting a little sloppy from yeah. Ohio State. You see Burgess trying to you know save it, but unfortunately there was no one there to defend and. Uh, just a nice open goal and a good shot overall. Uh, but, you know, obviously Ohio State uh, was the the team up. So yeah. we are still going to see two more, you know, kind of match points for Ohio State. And this isn't anything that Ohio State can't, you know, really um, uh, overcome per se. Yeah, Ohio State up 2-1 here in this uh, best of five. Uh, Ohio State definitely being the dominant team that matched. They just weren't able to kind of get that that last player in, right? So in that overtime, we saw that really great pass off the backboard with that player, but they just couldn't really get their movement right to be able to be there to actually connect it. And Missouri was more kind of relaxed, waiting for an opening. Uh, Tendo doing a really great job there being mid, uh, communicating really well and getting that ball actually out to your teammates to be able to sh shoot something. So Missouri definitely played that really smart, and I think OSU left a little bit too much of an opening in their defense, and that's that's kind of why they lost that one. Yeah, no, I, I completely agree. I think, uh, like like you were saying, uh, again, with Temp, uh, he's definitely a gambler. You know, mm -hmm. you can tell he likes to take those risks, and instead of hard clearing and trying to send uh, a kind of reset, he was definitely going for significantly more aggressive plays, I would say. Um, which obviously, as we saw in the previous two games, netted some positive results, but, uh, you know, just resulted in a, a bit of a problem here. And game four, and Burgess trying to get that early goal, unable to do so. Tendo able to clear it to Firewall, Temp for clearing it back. back Ooh, but he's going for more. Okay, all right. Great read there he from Missouri reading that corner. Yeah, absolutely. And Stu losing that 50-50 to Firewall. They're going to have to try to get it back onto their side. And Temp and Burgess taking the fight to Missouri. And I don't know. I, I think I'm worried about boosts here. And we're going to have to see some rotations coming in from Ohio State. Yeah, OSU players, uh, very good. Especially Burgess and Temp showing awesome, awesome ball control here. Stu, Stu was trying to get some, some nice uh, passes mid. Couldn't really get anything couldn't get anything connected. Uh, yeah, OSU definitely a little bit overextended now. Need to kind of regain themselves, regain their boost control shot there, but Temp reads it really greatly there. Yeah, that awesome was defense. just a, a great recovery. Yeah, and uh, amazing defense as they're able to clear it back to Missouri's side. Tendo trying to go for it, but getting mm. demoed by Burgess. Temp 
trying to clear it back to the side of Missouri. And Maybe it looks flip. like he wants to take the Ooh. fight. Yeah, it looks like he was trying to go for that. But, yeah, smart for uh, the 50 there. Instead yeah, of the I agree. Side. Absolutely. And it looks like um, overall we're just going to see uh, just a bunch of prodding on the defense of Missouri. Uh, nothing too crazy right now. And it uh, looks like uh, probably going to see just a far clear coming out from blue and it looks uh, like oh it's an empty goal this is huge oh no that that's tough oh. it's that shadow was really good uh just couldn't decide when to commit and just kind of made the wrong decision burgess was hunting uh missouri players there for a bit and i think he just kind of overcommitted, wasn't able to get on that rotation because he definitely should have been the third man back there to be able to save that so just another opening there from osu yeah, and oh, wow, nice. a close shot, but it looks like he's going to be able to get it up. And Burgess, a quick answer. Uh, just absolutely great stuff. And it, uh, that's that's the you know response that Ohio State needed to pull out. Yeah, I think Missouri's definitely a little scared of OSU's speed here. Uh, Tendo really wanted to make it to that ball, even though it was off to the side. He couldn't really make it. He needed to get that read and just kind of hope that OSU wouldn't have read it off the backboard, which they didn't. They played it smart. Uh, Burgess going for that shot there oh tendo winning that 50 50 years. they're gonna have to try to get it oh it hits the top but that was so close looks like they're gonna try to reset but unable to do so Stu losing the 50 50 actually and this is getting a, a little hairy right now for ohio state it looks like they're able to keep control back on the ball they're gonna fake it out it's close it's 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 hairy but they're able to do it and now uh... it's an empty goal but Stu trying to defend but oh firewall able to take it and that's that's what we were talking about with rotations and, and over aggression sometimes. Yeah, Missouri doing a great job to get as much power on that shot as possible. Stu just Stu was gonna go for that corner boost, realize that his teammates kinda lost their fifties and it was in control of Missouri, so he he didn't have that momentum going into the net and just it, it just didn't click there for him, sadly. Missouri Baptist is up two to one and now we have to see what's going to happen as Burgess taking the fight and it looks like they're going to be able to get it temp trying to set up Stu but Stu unable to do so a demo coming up from firewall but a far clear is going to reset everything and, now and a bomb. Yeah. <laughs> oh he's able to get it yeah Tindo or oh. not Tindo um was it yeah it was temp here got a demo and a bump so leaving that net wide open for OSU to put that in yeah, OSU players pushing up a lot. I'm noticing this, uh, specifically Stu, sometimes when he's third man. He pushes up a lot. Uh, there's a lot of trust in these teammates, these OSU players. Uh, they trust they trust in each other to get the ball to them. A lot of times in places like that or with that demo goal last time, uh, it connects. It connects just right, and sometimes it leaves an opening there, and it's just it kind of falls apart. So as they as they clean that up, I, I can definitely see a lot more dominance here on the on the field. Yeah, and, you know, Burgess with a nice save. Stu is going to be able to try to clear this back. And, uh, you know, overall with a minute 40 left, it's a tied game. And Stu wow. trying to bring it on. Tempo <laughs> he has to try to defend, but Tendo uh, looks like he's doing just fine. Temp, though, uh, losing that 50-50 to Blue Phoenix. And uh, Tendo getting that demo. They're going to have to try to clear this back to buy some more time for their teammates. Blue Phoenix and Tendo are trying. Ah, and that was an open like, net there. Uh, just missing it wide. That was tough. Yeah, uh, Missouri Baptist players actually overcommitting there really or really hard. But obviously, I don't know if they weren't able to read that or whatever. But it was a little tough. They still got a minute left. It's tied up. OSU just needs to keep playing how they're playing. I think they, they have a lot of really great ideas here. Yeah, and with a minute left, Ohio State's going to have to try to implement these ideas as much as possible. Blue Phoenix defending against Burgess. Temp trying to set up his teammate. We've seen this done so many uh. times. Stu coming from the side, but missing the ball. And it looks like with 47 seconds left, uh, Ohio State's going to have to try to reset. And Blue Phoenix actually able to demo Burgess. That's huge. Temp, though, setting him up. Going high. Oh. Close shot. Blue Phoenix defending. And now with 30 seconds left, it's anyone's game, and this is the decider right now is Firewall uh, losing that 50-50, taking it back down to midfield. But Tendo coming from the side. Burgess is going to have to try to defend it all to keep his team alive. 21 seconds, and Blue Phoenix setting it up. And it looks like we are going to see uh, probably some overtime here as Ohio State is trying to mount a defense. But 
Uh, you know, this is a floater, and with eight seconds left, they're gonna have to try to take this fast. Stu is uh, there to defend, and it looks like Ohio State's gonna mm -hmm. try to keep this up, do that rule too, but Firewall ah. wants to go to overtime, and that's where we shall go. Yeah, OSU needs, needs to play this calm and collected. Uh, they had a lot of opportunities there. Missouri also had a lot of opportunities. Uh, both teams are, they're, they're getting really close. Uh, it, it's just oh, really no. hard to oh, be able to reduce just... that. Oh. We're just almost making it there first, but not quite. Temp passing it back for Burgess here. Great read there. Yeah, and well, look at that shot Whoa. from the back. He's oh no, he's trying to fake him out, fake, but yeah. Blue Phoenix saw better, and it looks like um, you know we're definitely gonna see uh, a lot of aggression coming out right now from Missouri Baptist. Uh, it looks like Tendo wants to try to pass for his teammate, oh, but gonna uh, he's probably gonna lose his 50-50, and Firewall is gonna have to try to defend. It was a nice rotation coming out. And uh, really great that they didn't overcommit there because that would have been an empty net for Ohio State. But Firewall, speaking of empty nets, might be able to get it on Stu, but Stu just there to save the day. And what would we do without Stu? Honestly. And it looks like we're going to go back to the midfield. And Temp, though, he wants to try to take this bird just up the top. So close, but saved. And it uh, looks like we shall continue to Ooh. play ball. But coming from the side, close firewall defending again. He's just been an iron defense as Ohio State shoot again and again to no try to take this game. And now, oh, another it's one. Not on. But it's an open net. Temp has to try to save this. He's able to. And Tendo, though, wants to keep the fight going, losing the 50-50 in the air. But firewall there to win it out. And uh, Burgess has to win this, and he does. Yeah, it was but, just pushing their luck a little bit. I think they need to recollect themselves, play this smart like they have been. Don't let Missouri get any any grounds. Great clear there. Yeah, very smart to yeah. just hit the ball as hard as possible and just get it out. So Missouri's doing the exact same thing. Tendo's winning those 50-50s pretty consistently right now. Yeah. And Blue Phoenix trying to set him up. Uh, that's that's a definitely a 50-50 to win. Oh no, this Defense. could be huge, but a nice clear. That's just that's the clear that they really needed. There was some opportunity there to be set up. And then talk about setup. It looks like they're gonna clear it back on, and it looks like Temps there to clear it. And Stu with a nice clear over to the midfield. Shot opportunity. Uh, Blue Phoenix. Oh no! What? Oh no! Blue Phoenix. He, that's that's unfortunate. I've been there where you're just trying to get back in time and yeah. you just bump it in. And Temp though winning that 50-50 to get the goal. Uh, there's that name again. Huh. I, I, I didn't even try. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, finally closing that out. Closing the series out. Uh, OSU winning this 3-1. Uh, really great uh, placement there like car placement, not necessarily the shot placement, but being able to read where the ball's going. Yeah, Blue Phoenix just landing his car, not in the right way to keep the momentum going in the net to challenge that. So good job from OSU closing that out. Uh, de I definitely think there were a lot of really, really smart plays here. Uh, d and also a lot of things that I think uh, caused, caused a little bit of shakiness, you know, uh, specifically with OSU. Uh, they were kind of overcommitting, right? They were pushing their luck a little bit. Uh, they weren't keeping track of their boost, and so that would lead to those open open nets we saw more in the, the last half of the series. No, you're completely right. And, you know, it, it was uh, definitely some uh, sloppy rotations here and there. But overall, I'd say uh, just some great team play from Ohio State. Mm -hmm. uh, it really felt like Ohio State just, you know, were able to click. And you saw a lot of great setups um, and assists that, that just really showed um, some of the dominance that Ohio State has for, um, you know, their kind of offensive strikes. And uh, it, Temp was able to just finish those, uh, you know, games off. And uh, we saw a lot of them go to overtime. So, mm -hmm. obviously, Missouri Baptist is, uh, you know, nothing to just shrug off. Very and close games, A 1-0 yeah. start from Mace. I mean, that's, yeah. that's huge right there. That's a great way to start it out. And I'm sure the players are definitely happy with that. Yeah, I'm really excited to see what what, what we can bring to this uh, this tournament series in the future. Really like what we see. Definitely think we can take a lot of pointers from Missouri here. You know, not putting their own teammates in bad positions a lot of time. I think that's something that OSU can definitely vod review out, get a little, you know, iron the hammer, get a little bit more solid. So that's something I definitely want to see going into week two of, of Star League here.
Yeah, absolutely. And I think this is where we're going to uh, end the stream off here. It's a great day to be a Buckeyes fan. And yeah. it was great. Thank you for being on the show today, Dawson. And I had oh, a blast. Yeah, thank I don't you. know about you. Yeah, I had a great time commentating with you. It's really fun. Really fun to watch some car absolutely. ball. <laughs> Who, what, what, what better thing on, you know, a Monday night is there to do, but watch some great collegiate car ball uh, here on the Ohio State Twitch channel. Uh, as always, don't forget to uh, follow the Twitch channel. We do obviously a variety of stuff. And, you know, this is just obvious a fantastic program. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, I had a great time. Uh, my name is Jeremy or Germs PC. I was joined today by Dawson. Uh, this was week one of Rocket League, Nace Star League at the Ohio State Esports. And we'll catch you later. Yep. See you guys.